how our sports is set up to keep the black man destroyed. We can read that in the Bible. The Greeks, when they started sports, they were naked doing sports. That's why a lot of these football players right. are on the low. Right, right. Jerry Sandusky goes on trial here today, charged with repeatedly molesting young boys. So I'll give you an example when the coach touched the basketball player. Guess what? That's not, that's not right. That's that's right. right. Ronaldinho levantou para a área por cima. Gol! 39 seconds. Gets it to LeBron for three for the win. Yes! LeBron James at the buzzer! And shall what? Shall kill you. Read on. And you shall be hated of all nations. The Bible says us prophets, we're going to be what? Hated. What? Hated. God says, listen, when you teach these people the truth, they're going to what? Deny you. Hated of all nations. God said, we're going to get hatred. Hatred. And guess what? Keep bringing the hate because we love the hate. They hated Jesus Christ. So we can get it. And be, God be hated of all nations uh -huh. for my name's sake. So God, Christ, Christ says we will be hated of all nations. All nations. We will be hated of all nations. Oh wait, so why you wouldn't change this shit? You know God's God, right? Am I right or wrong? Right? You read the Bible, right? So, so wait, he said, why are you talking about my question? He said, what are you talking about? 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 He is a new creature. So if, wait, if somebody used to game me, read on. He is a new creature. Read on. But Old things, things are passed away. Old things are what? Passed away. So what? We repented of our sins. So next you're question. Right. Read it again. Right. Old right. things are passed away. So if, if any man repents, whatever you used to do in your life, God says old things are passed away. And what? Old things are become new. I got a question. You guys think it's right because you're reading that Bible, right? You guys, wait, no. You think it's right because you're reading that Bible. You guys, wait, no. You think it's right because you're reading that Bible. You think it's right because you're reading that Bible. You think it's right because you're reading that Bible. You think it's right because you're reading that Bible. You think it's right because you're reading that Bible. You think it's right because you're reading that Bible. You think it's right because you're reading that Bible. You think it's right because you're reading that Bible. You think it's right because you're reading that Bible. You think it's right because you're reading that Bible. You think it's right because you're reading that Bible. You think it's right because you're reading that Bible. You think it's right because you're reading that Bible. You think it's right because you're reading that Bible. You think it's right because you're reading that which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Now, brother, what you say about the medallions? What you say about the medallions? Yeah, God's a jealous God, right? Why you all that for? Like, there's no sin in wearing jewelry. Oh, you fucking lying, my nigga. There's no sin. All right, stay right there. We're going to read it. Stay right there. God's a fucking jealous God, nigga. You a fucking lying, son. Read it. Go ahead. Exodus chapter 32. Sorry. 32 and what? Exodus chapter 32. And Aaron said unto him, Break off the golden earring. The what? The golden earring. The what? The golden earring. So the men can wear earrings. Women can wear earrings. Come on. Which are in the ears of your wife of your son so men and women can wear earrings which is jewelry you can wear jewelry but what Paul was saying you're not supposed to be flossing and caring about your outside appearance more than your mind that's what God is saying who's that wrong how Exactly, you're not supposed to cast your body or put tattoos on your body. We don't have tattoos or cast your body. Hold on, hold on. We all got jobs, we work. We're not bums, we go to school. We got good grades. Go ahead, read it again. Alright, Exodus chapter 32, verse 3. Exodus 32, verse 2. It says. And Aaron said unto them, Break off the golden earrings. Break off the golden earrings. Come on. Which are in the ears of your wives, of your sons, and of your daughters, and bring them unto me. That's what we're saying. According now, what we're saying is according to the Bible, the black man is a Jew. That's what we're teaching. We're not teaching hatred. You got brothers throwing stuff at us because you know what's funny? If we was white, they would never do that to us. You said the, the, the black man is a Jew? Yeah. Jeremiah 14 and 2. I'm a, can I show you in the Bible? Jeremiah 14 and 2. Yo, yo, brother. My friend, my friend, Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. 
Judah mourneth. Jew comes from the word Judah. Come on. And the gates thereof language right. are black unto the ground. What does that mean, brother? I'm a, listen again. Judah, Judah mourneth. They are black unto the ground. The, the Jews are black unto the ground. That's what the Bible says. That's what the Bible says. The Jews are black according to the Bible. That's what the Bible says. Read that again. Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof language. They are black unto the ground. Come on. And the cry, oh sorry, and the cry of Jerusalem is going up. Jeremiah 8:21. I'm gonna show you more. That's a good question. Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 21. It says, for the hurt of the daughter of my people am I hurt. I am black. I'm what? I am black. I am what? I am black. That's what Jeremiah says. He was an Israelite. You are Israelites, and they're black. Understand that. Oh, wait. And we, we're we getting water bottles thrown blacks, at us for saying said, that. Wait. You said black and who's perfect? Who's perfect? Matthew 5, 48. You said black and Spanish are perfect? We didn't say that. Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. Be ye therefore perfect. What did Jesus say? Be ye therefore perfect. Christ said, be perfect. Come on. Even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Why? Because what we were saying is, we all make mistakes, right? But you're supposed to strive for what? Perfection. Good is not your goal. You're supposed to strive for perfection. Understand that. But the difference between us and them is that they want to keep doing what they're doing, and they, and they, they don't want to change. We change. They don't want to change. Some people like to sag their pants. Some people like to smoke weed. We're saying it's not okay to do that, but y'all get mad at us. Get a Titus 2 and 6 again. Titus what? 2 and 6. <laughs> Titus chapter 2, verse 6. Young men, likewise, exhort to be sober minded. A lot of you blacks are not sober minded. Some of y'all smoke weed, but we gotta stop that. Read it again. Young men, exhort to be sober minded. Be sober minded. In all things, showing thyself a pattern of good works. Brother, what's your name? What's your name? Mike. Mike. Let me ask you a question, Mike. The way black people act, is it right? Why? It ain't. Wait, you just saying black people. But the reason why is that when you look on the news on Channel 5, what people do you see going in jail? All kinds. Mainly all black, kinds. but all kinds. That's what we're saying. Mainly black. Mm -hmm. You're right. White people go to jail. Chinese go to jail. But the majority that's in prison is who? Black. Exactly. But so don't you think that racism has something to do with that? Wait a minute. If you rape a woman and you go to jail, is that racism? No. No. But you don't know. You selling weed in the, on the corner, you going to jail, is that racism? All right, but you don't know why all these people are going to jail. I'll, I'll, I'll say this. I'll say this. I'll say this. Five percent are in jail for racism, but ninety-five percent of blacks that's in jail is because of crime. On this Romans 13. Yeah, right. I'm gonna give you an example. One of my family members, they work at Rikers Island. They're captain. She says 95% of blacks and Hispanics are in Rikers Island. You ever been to Rikers Island before? Not not like incarcerated there, but like you're right. Ask your parents. What's the majority of people that's in there? She'll say it's our people in there. Why? Because of this law that we're about to read right now. I, I was giving an example that the majority are in jail, but a few percentage are in jail for racism. Wait, what do you want? Romans 13, 1? Romans 13. Romans, Romans yeah, chapter 13, yeah. verse 1. Because it is true. That is true. Most of our brothers in jail is because of what? Crime, right? Exactly. We're in Romans 13. Let every soul be subject unto the higher power. That's why a lot of young blacks go to jail. Some of y'all are going to drop out of college. Some of y'all going to say, work is too hard, I'm going to sell weed, and then y'all going to go to jail. Some of them sell weed on the college. And then get caught and then go to jail. Read it again. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. Go ahead. For there is no power but of God. So, meaning, obey the powers that be. That's what it's saying. Read it again. For there is no power but of God. The powers that be, the powers that be, the government, are ordained of God. That's what the Bible is saying. So we got to obey the powers that be. Come on. It says, whosoever therefore resisteth what's the your power. What's your question? Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God. So you got a question? And they that oh, no, resist. I, I want to ask you something else about your view on, on, on the homosexual race because don't y'all have homosexual friends leviticus 20 13. i have homosexual family members leviticus 20 13. no let's say romans chapter 1 verse 26. romans chapter 1 i'm trying to explain to them why they think they're right but i want romans chapter 1 verse 26. 
For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affection. Vile affection meaning nasty affection. For even their woman did the change woman? the the woman. For even their woman did change the natural use. What is the natural use of a woman, brother? You are to have kids. How do you have kids with men? So it's God is saying women change that. For saying women with women, God says that's not right. For e for this cause, God gave them up unto vile affection. Vile, you know what word vile means? Nasty, abominable. For even their woman, the woman did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Nature is a male lion and a female lion come together. A male tiger and a female tiger come together. Not a female and a female tiger. It don't work like not that. Not Shaniqua and Patricia. That's not that. that's not what it's talking about. Nature. Every every animal has sex with a different with the opposite sex. God says two men, two women, not together. Go on. And likewise also the men. Because a lot of you brothers Why are in the because some brothers, come some brothers are ho closet homosexuals, right? Like Frank Ocean, right? Come on. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman. Some brothers fake like they like girls, but in the side they like men. You can we can watch the documentary uh Hip Hop Beyond Beats and Rhymes. You got a lot of brothers that say I like the girls, but on the low, they doing the men. That's why a lot of these football players right. are on the low. Right, right, right. It says, and likewise also the men, leaving the natural no, use of the woman. Joe Paterno, what was he doing? He was sexing little boys at Penn State. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman. I'm sorry. Sent Thank you, bitch. Sorry. Sandusky was molesting what? A little boy. Read it again. It says, and likewise, he also. Was a coach at Penn State University. Right. One of the largest and most right. famous football colleges right. in college. Hey. A division, division one, right? That's what they was doing. You know what I'm telling you, know what I'm telling you about that? A lot of those sports that made it, too. A lot of those athletes that made it, they said, listen. Sandusky just got caught in that. There's so many other sports players that get molested and they don't speak up. And let's put molestations to the side. There are a lot of sports kids, a lot of people that play football, they're homosexuals on the low as well. They may be big and tough, but they're banging Joe in the locker room. And guess what, you know what God is saying? God is saying if any man's doing that, to repent, to repent of that, that's what God is saying. If any man's a homosexual, if any woman is a lesbian, God is saying to repent. Let me say that again. Yep. Brother, you play football? All right. No joke. I'm not being disrespectful. When you see the quarterback behind the center, what does it look like? He's just getting the ball. Now, wait, wait. I'm going to give it a chance to get it. If you look in the center, no, 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 in a brief, matter of fact, sports. Why do you feel like that? Why do you feel like No, don't give me his Why do you feel like that? Because no, ancient no, Greece said the same thing. Right. They played no, sports. Well, by the way, Greece and the world have the same similarity. Do you have the Torah or the Why? Quran with you guys? For an example, the Quran. So if you wanted to reference what you have in there, could you reference it from another Bible as well? Yes. Now, is it okay for you to sign a cock? You don't want to jump on the ball. You feel me? Serious. You just got to get the real, dog. Like, if you want to get the ball, you I'm going to get shit. the ball this way. If it's feeling it fast, you feel me? You can't it. snap the ball between the legs without being underneath there, bro. I'm just telling you. Yo, look, don't do that, man. Don't do that. That's the way you see it. Romans chapter 1. Don't do that. Romans 1 and 27. Don't do that. Romans 1 and 27. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust. One toward another. Men with men. Hold on, I'll give you an example. When a coach touched a basketball player, good sportsmanship. That's not that's not right according to the Bible. Let me ask y'all a question. Sports players, let me ask y'all a question. What does gymnasium mean? You going. What does gymnasium mean? What does gymnasium mean? What does gymnasium mean? Gym means place to be. Gymnasium means naked. Gymnasium. See, I'm going to give y'all history of sports. We did the history. The Greeks started sports. We can read that in the Bible. The Greeks, when they started sports, they were naked doing sports. When they were naked playing these sports, they had gymnasiums. In these gymnasiums, 
They want to have this sex with each other. Now, we're not saying any of you are homosexual. We're not saying that. But what we're saying is, when you do the history on sports, for example, Janese, Jimmy like to be naked and naked. It was all homosexual. Because what they would do is, when they would play Yo, sports, when they would sweat, listen, 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 listen. When they would play sports, and when they would sweat with each other, it would bring out that homosexual Basketball players wear a shirt That's what they would do, because, because they're sweating with each other. It's hot. That's what I'm saying. It's hot under my pants, too, man. So this is what I'm saying. It's hot under my pants, too, bro. But I ain't gonna get all hyped up, get my dick hard for you. Listen, the ball, listen. If the shoe fit, wear it. It ain't you, it ain't you. But it happens to our people. It says, and likewise, oh, let me, let me get everybody in. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another. Men with men, working that which is unseemly. That's what the Bible says. We're not saying the, the homosexual, the, the football players are gay. We're not saying that. We're saying that the origin came from homosexual activity. That's right. what we're saying. We're not saying playing sports is wrong. We're not saying that. But what we're football saying is... Football is American sport. Well, football is an American sport. sport. So but do you know the origin of football? Where? Where? Where does it come from? I'm asking you. This is American sport. Okay. There's nowhere else. Let's deal with football. It's American sport. Let's deal with America. Let's deal with, let's deal with America. Before the 1970s, what were blacks doing in football? You had the Negro League, right? And you had the American Football yeah, League, right? Yeah. Why did they allow yeah, blacks to go into the White League? Why? We were talented. They were better players. Talented, better players, but why? So you can make money off of them. I give an example. I give an NBA for an example. Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant is, is, is one of the best. LeBron James is one of the best. I but the person I, I that agree. signs his check, I don't agree. How it's for David Stern, he is richer than him. You, you guys are not understanding that the sports, you guys are just into tech. I'm gonna give you an example. They only look at black people only for sports, rap, and, and, and drugs. That's it. I'm American. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Right do they, right they look at us as judges? They don't look at us as doctors, judges, lawyers. They look at us as sports entertainers. That's what, am I right? Because most of the blacks that make money, Mas comedians, matter of fact, most blacks go to school is for sports, right? Not most black, for sports players. In, in black neighborhoods, do they have a lot of libraries or uh, uh, basketball courts? Libraries. No, they have a lot of basketball courts. A lot of basketball courts. Why? Because if you look at it, I can say something real quick. Read, um, hold this, hold that, what you want. You got uh, to I just want to You got to look at it as a man. No, 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 look at this, look at this. I'm going to tell you straight up, I'm going to tell you straight up. You know why they, You know why sports is set up? To keep the black man destroyed and hold you. I'm going to show you right now, I'm going to show you right now. Because think about it. Why in black neighborhoods is there more basketball courts than libraries? Why? Because advertisements, they always show black people good at sports, and they want you to want to do sports right, that's just rather than education. Better at. You gotta Stay right there, Rich. I can, bro. 20. If I ain't the smartest yeah. nigga in the room, Hold I know on. that. But I know I can fucking ball. Hold on, though. here's the thing so that I'm do saying. That. Here's the thing that I'm saying. The <laughs> that's reason what I'm saying. why, like, yeah, listen, listen, listen. Yeah. The reason why they have sports, the reason why they have sports is so you will not remember who you are. I'm gonna show you the history. Read. That sons have sports. All of it. Read. Thy sons have fainted. God said, what happened to the Israelites? Thy sons have fainted. What does faint mean? Collapsed. Lost consciousness. The black man spiritually has lost consciousness. How? What's your nationality? What's your nationality? What's your nationality? What? What's your nationality? Jamaican? Jam What's you? Black, 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 Jamaican. We gave two different answers. One said African, three different answers. Who are we as a people according to the Bible? According to the Bible, we're the Israelites. Guess what? You know why you know why you all didn't know that? Because it's not taught. So now read, read Isaiah 51. Read, read Isaiah 51. Read Isaiah 51 and 20. Right, let me pause this then. The sons have fainted. The sons is talking about the sons of the Israelites, the young black man. God says we fainted. And it's gonna give you proof why he's talking about the young black man. It says they lie at the head of all the streets. Who he has family in Brooklyn or the Bronx? Who hangs at the corner of uh, convenience stores? Who? Blacks. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, at the corner store. At the corner store. At the corner store. You telling me you see mostly white people? Bro, I see a lot. Y'all know what y'all. You see mostly white people at the corner store? You up here? Where you from, Miss Smith? Who you see mostly at the corner store? If you get different neighborhoods in Miami, hold on. I live in the suburbs too. In the corner stores, it's black people at the corners. 
We know this. Did you know that? Come on. So what you're saying is, in different neighborhoods, and I know, and I'm, I'm from Miami, so I'm telling you, I'm from Miami too. I got that little, you know little Haiti, you're going to find your Haitians. Then you go to little Havana, you're going to find your Hispanics. Guess what? 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 Blacks and Haitians are the same people. You're right. So why are you separating them? I'm telling you. Why are you separating them? Who hang at the corner store? That's what you said. Who hang at the corner store? That's what you said. Our people. I'm going to tell you, though. I'm going to tell you. Uh huh. It's, just, it's a lot of people. All right. Yeah, you can say a lot of black people do hanging at the corner store. Uh huh. But right, in different neighborhoods and a lot of areas, and you know, you see from my yeah, right, right, right. And you know, right. If you ain't gonna oh, be in that Dade one County, area, you see white. it all over in Dade County. Right. 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 Hey, hold on. Right near Carroll City, who's at the corner store? It's Carroll City, a black neighborhood. Thank you. Who are we talking about? Black people. Really? All right. But you said who hangs at the corner store? Of all the streets. Streets. God is talking bro. about one people. God says these one people lie at the head of all the streets. Lie at the head of all the streets. And this is talking about black people. Let me ask you a question. As black people, do a lot of our people that are basically, I'll say this, that are not going nowhere with themselves, do they have the corner convenience stores? Yes. God said that's a prophecy. Read on. They are full of the fury of the Lord. You know why God says these blacks are full of the fury of the Lord? We're full of the correction from slavery. We don't know what we want to do with our lives, so we're just hanging outside. Fury is anger. They're full of the fury, the anger of the Lord. Where was God angry in slavery? God sent us into slavery because he was angry. Read. The rebuke of thy God. Uh-huh. Read on. Therefore, in the here now this. I'm going to show you I'm gonna show you how the sports is a trap. Read. Thou afflicted and drunken, but not with one. God said, here now this. Listen what God said. He's going to give you a parable. Who knows what a parable is? Parable. Parable. Who knows what a parable is? An illustrated story. Read. There said the Lord God, I will that pleased that pleaded the cause of his people. Who's God's people? You said it was a black. You said it was a black man. Who's God's people? The Israelites. Remember when you read the Bible, Exodus chapter seven, verse four. My people, the children of Israel, the children of Israel, blacks and Hispanics. Read it again. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God. Where in the Bible? Read. That pleaded the cause. Because where are you going to find somebody that truly pleads for black people? The Bible. Jesse Jackson isn't pleading for us. Louis Farrakhan isn't pleading for us. They want money. But God is pleading for us. Read on. Behold, I have taken out of thy hand. I'm teaching you. Yes, I'm pleading for you. Read. <laughs> taken out of thy hand. The cup of trembling, even the dread. No, read that on the verse. Thus saith the Lord. And thy God that pleadeth the cause of his people. God pleads the cause for his people. Read on. Yeah. Behold, I have taken out of thy hand the cup of trembling. God says, I've taken out of your hand. I've taken out of your hand the cup of trembling. Read on. And the dreads of the cup of my fury. And the dreads of the cup of my fury. Read on. No more drink it's again. Come on. But I will put it into the hand of them that Now listen, this is the point I wanted. God says, but I will put it into the hands of them that afflict you. Which have said to thy soul, bow down. God said, which have said to your soul, bow down. That we may go over. And thou hast laid thy body at now listen to this point again. Read that verse again. I'm going to show you how sports is in the Bible. Give me the apocrypha. I'll hold the camera. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Huh? That body has the ground quick, and as the street to them that went over. Read that verse again, verse 23. And that has lied that body as the ground and as the street to them that When were we afflicted? In what? In slavery. In slavery. Come on. To that. And will put it to the hand of them that afflict thee, which have said to thy soul, bow down. Now listen to the verse what God says. God said, the people that afflicted you, which was the Europeans in slavery, he said, I'm going to put into them that afflict thee, which have said to your soul, bow down. How do they say to our soul, bow down? God is saying this. In education, you know how they say bow down? You were just nothing but Africans. We were above you. Bow down. In religion, God is white. Bow down. In sports, oh, you think I made it in sports. God said they're telling you to bow down. They signed the checks. You're nothing in sports. You're nothing. That's You're not just though. good at shooting. That's funny though because Read it again. Even the dreads of the I'm sorry, like I'll put it into the hands of them that afflict them. God said, listen to what God is saying. God is saying this. He said, I'm going to put into them that afflict you, which have said. To thy soul, bow down. God said they're spiritually saying to your soul, bow down. But you can't see it. You think it's good because there's basketball courts in the neighborhood. It's not. They're saying they just want you to be the entertainer. All right. Actual question. When you think of football, who's the majority of the players in football? No. It's black now, right? Let me ask you a question. How many people can you, how many players on a football team? 
How many? No, no, I'm saying how many uh, people can go on a football team? On the field. No, 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 like, you got the first string, the second string, the how many? 53. Now, 53 man roster, there's 32 teams in the NFL, right? Millions of blacks. So all these millions of blacks are going to play, they're going to make it to the NFL? No. The people, the, the people that's nice in sports and that don't make it to the NFL, what happens to them? They end up going in jail, or they get on drugs, or they die. That's not that's not right. Right. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I give an example. There's a football player from Freeport named the Brickershaw Ferguson. His one of his best friends that was just as good as him fell out of school. Now he's working at McDonald's. Understand that. That's what happens. No education. That's no education. A lot, like Derek Rose. A lot of these brothers, they don't. They're not smart enough. They pay college students to do their work, right? Is that true? That's true. That's true. Not all. Not everybody. Not, 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 you see what I'm saying? So not everybody. Not everybody. But I'm saying, get up. Uh, Titus two on sixteen. You have to be smart. A lot of guys are able to go to middle school. You're right. You're right. You know what? They choose to go to football rap because that's what they love to do. It's just like me. I go into law enforcement, but at the same time, I love. Football. I know, I know, I, I can tell football. you love football. I right, can tell you love football. You gotta understand what you're talking about, my dude. I know you love, yeah. hey, I know you love football, bro. I know you love football. No, no, we're not talking about, this is what we're talking about. We never said playing sports is a sin. What we're saying is that a lot of our people play sports and they don't even realize that there's something more important than sports. It's, listen, listen, listen what I'm saying. Listen what I'm saying, bro. We never say you playing football is a sin. We're saying that a lot of our people, they forget that there's something more important in the sport. That's knowing who you are. That's what that's that's what we've been saying for three hours. No. Like for example, when the brother gave the example, when the brother gave the example of the statistics of that most black men in sports, you said, listen, they love to do that. But guess what? They don't realize that when they play football on Saturday, they're breaking God's laws. Because God's law says you shouldn't do anything on Saturday. So that's what I'm saying. You know what they're doing? They're saying, you know what? I'm going to choose my sports over God. That's why. Listen, if you want to play your basketball or your football on a Sunday or regular day, yo, do your thing, bro. But listen, this is what we're saying. This is what we're saying. Now, remember, God says, the, God says Saturday is the seventh day, the Sabbath day. So remember, so what the brother's saying? The bro listen, listen. What the brother's saying is this. The brother's saying this. Listen, if you love God, you're going to do what God says. Now let's say this. Let's say you say, you know what? I'm gonna do what that Bible says. I'm gonna repent, right? And you play football. Now, if you want to do what the Bible says, you may. Let's say you're the best player on the team. They may say we need you in that Saturday. But you're like, oh, for religious reasons, you know what the coach would say? Come on, bro. God gonna. God knows your heart. He's gonna try to convince you to break God's Sabbath. Why? Because he's saying, I know you have to congregate on Saturday, but it's not that serious. We're saying what God is saying. It is that serious. There's nothing wrong with playing sports. But guess what? No one, all the athletes, they don't know who they are. Major, a, a large percent don't know who they are. That's why we're out here. Titus chapter 2, verse 6. I'm going to show you. No, no, I understand what you're saying because we both play sports. We were basketball heads. I'm dead serious. We wore shorts every day just in case a ball game dropped. Right under the jeans. I'm dead serious. We play basketball. But, and I, on our spare time, I played basketball play, last year. I was last, I, last time I played was last year because he had no time. He had no time. All but right. what I'm saying is, we do play on our uh, leisure time, on our free time. But it's a difference between putting it as an idol. Corinthians six and nine. Okay. I just, I about, I all with the man who works. Just, <laughs> the man who works. You feel me? Like football is not a job. I understand that, but it will be for us if we get to the league. <laughs> will you, you have to? Will you have to play football on a Saturday though? No, no, no. Well, you have to. Some games are on Saturday. Right. Now, you, guess what? If you make it to the pros, and let's, you say you follow the Bible, you, what's your name? Keon. You would have to make that decision. Am I going to choose football or God? First Corinthians 6 and 9? No, you're not. How many have uh, ever seen uh, Remember the Titans with Denzel Washington? Y'all seen that? That's, you know, that movie, that movie was brainwashing us that Sports is the way. I'm gonna tell you why because right, right, right. remember during that time period there was a, what, a lot of racism, okay. right? Yeah. I'm a, no, they said. Uh -huh. It was a lot of racism a lot of at racism that time. The, I, I was going into a, I forgot my point, but I was going into it that the reason why they was allowing blacks to go into the black leagues is because they, you guys make more money. You guys look much better, right? That's why the majority of basketball, football, boxing, the best athletes were black. Men. Now during slavery, that's why we gotta learn slavery, not history. They made the black boxers 
the black wrestlers fight each other to the death. That was sports, understand that. Mm. But with, instead of instead of uh, killing each other to the death now, y'all tackling each other. That's why, what do you call NFL? Not for long. Meaning now y'all going, one of y'all going to get injured and y'all finish. And y'all never play again. That's almost every sport. That happens in every sport. So why put the, the risk in endangering your body and you're finished? That's why, that's why they call the NFL not for long. I give an example. I, give me a uh, like I first play football. football. Yeah, I, 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 look, I, I play football. Right. Right. So my dad right. said he don't got the money to say, look, well, I can't send you to school. I don't have the money. Right, right, right. So I'm gonna ball out. I ball out. I get the scholarship. Now I'm here for free to get an education and do what I think I, what I love for the rest of my life. Right, right, right. Very true. But very, you know, brother, very true. Very true. But. Everybody that has your mind, majority of blacks have that mind, but not every black makes yeah, it to the NFL. So those that don't make it to the NFL, what happens to them? Everybody knows. But they don't fit the chance making it in the NFL, son. It's either you're going to get there or you're not. Let's cut this 50 That's it. Now, college says if I give you the scholarship, you can come, you can play. And it's guaranteed that I'm going. I guarantee I'm going to play. It's guaranteed I'm going to make it to college. Now I don't care about that. I'll never get to play NFL or what. But now I got an education. Now I got something to fall back on. Now, now, so I don't be on now, this Now watch corners. this. Now watch this. This is why we got to watch the news now. Right. Every college student that's graduating, they can't find no jobs when they come out. Now you in sports. Now you got to fall back on what? You can't be a teacher because Mayor, uh, what's his name? And, 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 and Bloomberg. He's shutting all the teachers down. Right. Very true. What else? What, 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 what's you guys major? As a matter of fact, let's go into that. What do you guys major? I'm going to go quick before you switch the topic about sports. You want to know another heavy part about sports? Here's the thing. Because I was a sports fanatic. Soccer and basketball. Real good at it. I loved it. I'm, it was my life. Here's the thing. Listen to the track. Look, there's nothing wrong with playing sports, right? And let's say, say, listen, I want sports to be my way out. Okay, right. Now, the Bible says you got to keep God's commandments, right? Now, you know what's so funny? A lot of blacks were good at sports, are we not? We are, right? And most black people are in the NFL and the baseball league. I'm talking blacks and Hispanics and basketball league, right? Now, look at this. If a lot of blacks and Hispanics stop playing sports, why? Because they want to worship God because they know they're the Israelites and they have to celebrate on Saturday, how much money would America lose? Millions. America will fall down. You know why? Wait, wait, you know why? You know why? Because they know, listen, 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 because they know this. They know this. If we keep these guys in entertainment as the entertainers, we are going to make money. But if they want to choose God over sports, we're going to fall. That's why they put basketball courts in black neighborhoods. We don't want them to look for an educational right to get out. We don't want them to want an educational way to get out. We want them to want the sports way. That way, if they fall and they can't get a job, they're going to sell drugs and kill each other. Where is most blacks and Hispanics? In jail. It's a system. Right. It's a system. I'm not saying there's no wrong with sports. Listen, you want to play your sports? Play it. I would play sports, but I don't even have time to do that stuff anymore. I'm starting to realize, like, damn, this thing is a distraction. The scriptures say, for bodily exercise, profit of little. You want to work out? There's nothing wrong with that. Keep your health up. Nothing wrong with that. Put God first. If you put God first, you're going to affect America's pockets. You understand? You, listen, if you want to play sports, play it, but put God first. Now, so guess what? what? Guess what? What happened? What happened? The team that prayed before we got to the But listen, guess prayed. what? Some of those teams pray, and they're on the field, and they're playing on Saturday. That's against God's laws. You right? 1 right. Corinthians 15. 1 Corinthians 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, it's a lot of evil going on in the sports. God says that corrupts your mind. I'll give you an example. You got Floyd Mayweather, right? He's the best boxer on the planet, right? Y'all can debate me and say that, but I'm just, I'm going to use you as an example. Floyd Mayweather is the best. But when you go on YouTube, right, Floyd Mayweather in the club, with the strippers, all of that. But a lot of us, Isaiah 9 and 16, huh? So about the lawyers, there's evil in the law, there's evil in medicine, there's evil in the Right, right, right. You're right. Very true. Very true. Very true. Very true. But that's few of them. That's few of them. You, can you no, name me? Okay, okay, okay. Can you name me five judges? Can you name me five judges in Long Island that's black? A lot of the stuff that's going on. I'm saying. Isaiah chapter nine verse what? Sixteen. Sixteen. It says, "For the leaders of this people caused them to err." Let me give you an example. Rap music, right? Is that a lot of evil going on in that? Yes, it is. Sag in the pants. Because look, I used to sag. I'm I used to. I did a lot of things. What you guys used to do. Sag the pants, had the girlfriends, I did all of that stuff. Read that again. 
For the leaders of this people caused them to err. Who is our leaders today? Can I ask you? You know who our leaders are today? Brandon Jacobs. Right. Our football players. But they're not teaching us the right example. Because what they're saying is, YOLO. You only live once. Right? These rappers are saying that. You only live once. Meaning, do all the evil you can do now because you got one life to live. Right. Do but that's... Can do. I won't say evil. Do all you can All right. Do. What's the name of that song? Come on, Keon. What's, what's, the name? Real. what's the name of that song? How many lives do you live? Answer that. One. Okay. But what about the, so why not do what you can what you can now? Be <laughs> again. Be again. I did not succeed. Yeah. For the leaders of this people caused them to err. What you supposed to do on this earth? Live godly in this present time, like Titus says. Read it again. For the leaders of this people caused them to err. Because see who you got? Nicki Minaj, they leading the sisters. That's why a lot of sisters get in your face and disrespect you, because they believe Nicki Minaj. Nicki says, I want, I'm a man with my boyfriend, but no, I want my man to dominate me only in the bed. But when we in public, I'm going to dominate him. God says woman is not supposed to dominate the man. Read that again. For the leaders of this people caused them to err. What does Lil Wayne be saying? You can smoke weed, right? What's, what's the name of that song we were listening to? We like to have fun. We like to smoke weed. Young, living, free, right? Where's Khalifa, right? He got tattoos all over himself and he smoked weed, right? That Y'all look up to him as y'all leader, right? Because our leaders... No. Who's your leader? So who's your leader? I see Barack. Barack. Okay, now... What is Barack Obama's policy? See what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Read it again. For the leaders of this people caused them to err. That was Barack Obama's policies is for gay marriage, right? right? The Bible's that against that. Right? And remember, he's yeah, he was a, abortion, right? The Bible's against abortion. The Bible's against right abortion. There. Matter of fact, that's why in every black neighborhood, life, there's a Planned Parenthood uh, there so the black woman right. can abort her babies. Mm -hmm. And bars. the Planned Parenthood like came from Margaret exactly. Sanger. Okay. Margaret Sanger was a Caucasian woman that lived in Brooklyn that believed that abortion was the way for women. And she used black people to do it. She said, I want abortion <coughs> to be set up so the black woman can kill off the race. That's why on the on the billboard they had two years ago, it said the worst every, place. Most of the well, hold on. on. It says the worst place for the uh, African American man is in the black woman's womb. Meaning, because a, a lot of our black sisters are aborting. Why are they aborting them? Because brothers, the brother earlier that said, you yeah, need to get some. The brother told us, have sex with these women and leave. That's why a lot of our sons and daughters are having abortions. Be, no, no structure in the family. That's why. Chad Johnson, right? Remember him? Chad Ocho, whatever he did. Ocho. They said he had butt his wife in the face. I don't mm. believe he did it, but since that America has idolized the black woman, they have dominion over y'all. Understand that. That's why Chad is a free agent, and that's and that's why he can't get a job now as a player. That's what will happen to a lot of blacks and Latinos when they get into sports. That's why, what's his name? Uh, O.J. Simpson, jacked up. All these sports players, yeah, Mike Tyson, jacked up. And, and you know what's funny? I'm going to tell you the God honest truth. When a lot of these sports <coughs> players, when they die, they die penniless and broke. Mm -hmm. That happens 90% of the time. Sure. Uh, what's, a, sure. what's his name? Joe Lewis, one of the best heavyweight boxers of the world. He I died broke. broke. Yep. Mike um, Tyson is going to die broke. Oh, yeah. Evander, Hill, Evander Holyfield is going to die oh, broke. Yeah. And these brothers made hundreds of millions of yeah. dollars. Mike Tyson's already broke. Yo, what he's yeah. saying is true. Yeah. 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 Keon, I know yeah. you know this. Yeah. Yeah. When y'all was younger, I don't know if some of y'all from the South, remember there were Southern rappers. Um, you had No Limit Soldiers yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. You had um, Fiend, you know Fiend the fat guy. Yeah. Mystical. All these men, I don't know, remember when we was younger? Remember, because rappers is the same as how it was when it was younger. When it was younger, it was still wicked, but this is the point I want to make. Think what what passed the Troy? What was the examples? We no limit soldiers. We getting money. We throwing the money on the girls behind. We sliding it down it. But our leaders are well, and guess what? You know what we do? We emulate it. We're like, yeah, that's the thing, man. That's yo, that's what's up. That with, and what the brothers going over? God is just saying, listen, there's a different way we can act. Let's follow Christ, because he was a black man. Let's follow their examples. Forget the rappers, because guess what? Some rappers are going to repent too. Believe it or not, some of these rappers are going to do what this Bible says. Because the Bible says, before Christ comes back, a remnant of so-called blacks and Hispanics are going to bend to what this Bible says. They're going to do exactly what this Bible says. you got to ask your question. Do you want to be one of the leaders when Christ is dictating the earth? Do you want to be there? Do you want to be one of the 144,000? That's a, listen, you can still go to the club, play your sports on a Sabbath day. Hey, do you. I don't want to be here when Christ come back. I want to be in the kingdom. I want to make it. I don't like this life. I don't like it.
You did Isaiah 9, 16 again? Isaiah chapter 9, verse 16. Hey, think about it. I'm going to ask you an honest nah, question. Nah. If Martin Luther King and Malcolm X nah. was alive, would he be happy the way our blacks act today? Hell no. Hell no. no. Matter of fact, on the boondocks, when Martin Luther King said, like will you ignorant, you ignorant niggas please <laughs> shut the hell up? And everybody right. was like, oh, shoot. <laughs> right, right, right. The boondocks, yeah. that's a heavy show to watch. Yeah. They're yeah. Where the boondocks symbolizes how young black men act today. Riley, that's how a lot of blacks act. Riley, you got a lot of uncorruptnesses around here. That's, I'm dead serious. Isaiah 9, 16 again. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 16. For the leaders of this people caused them to err. That's what God is saying. The leaders of our people, they are causing us to make mistakes. Because... You're right. You got Judge Mathis. I, I used to like Judge. I'm like, wow, that's a black man as a like judge, it. right? But they, but you ever notice in Judge Mathis court, they always talking back to him. But when Judge Judy did, everybody is shutting the hell up. You know why? Because the black man has been emasculated in this country, meaning he's been effeminized. Understand? Although he's big in his sports. Matter of fact, matter of fact, I gotta read the Willie Lynch slave letter. Willie Lynch said the biggest, strongest black man is the most weakest in the family. Understand? Because of his mind. Matter of fact, yeah, you ever see Medea, Tyler Perry? He's a weak man for doing that. But in the show, they show you that Medea, she's the uh, the tough guy of the family. But meanwhile, the lawyer, he's all simple, standing there in the corner looking dumb. Every TV like, show's like that. Every, every, think about it. Every, the, the, every, the, every, the, every TV show the, does that. Yeah, man. Give me a bump. Uh, uh, well, why is that? Because it's most it's black strong. women raise black men. Right. That, that's what he's trying to say. Most black women, exactly. Most black women are raising the men because the men leaves the house. He says, you know what? I can't. I'm tired of the black woman yelling at me every time I every time I say A, she say B. I say C, she say D. And then he goes, you know what? He leaves. Now she's trying to get him for child support. He left. He don't hear till he dodge in court. Now she got to raise five kids by herself. And what do you think these five kids going to do? You think a, a woman can control five kids? Oh no, she cannot. No, no, no. Only a black man can raise a, 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 a black, a, a young black child. Exactly. No. Only a black man can raise a young black child. You have, That's, to, have, that, you have to have the man in the house. You have to have the man in the house. Mm. You have to have the man in the house. That's but right. But if the man in the house is distracted with the woman, then the young brother he gonna either be in jail or a homosexual. Here's an example. Here's an example. Who we'll read the newspaper here? Okay. Here's an example in the paper of a young black kid, young black man just like a lot of us, 16 years old, shot his mother, put her in a dumpster, put her in the back and spit on it. Young black kid, young black kid. He like basketball. Too. And he like basketball too. Mm -hmm. And guess what I bet you he was doing? Watching BET, sagging his pants. And I'm not saying you guys are gonna be like this. I'm just saying, like you guys said, you know what, every time we teach, you know what y'all kept saying? Not all of us are like that. So when you gonna speak up and show the difference? Because that's what we're doing. We're saying not all of us are like that. We're saying let's change. So what? Help us then. Repent of your sins and show the world that we are not all the same. Who's going to stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? That's what God right. says in Psalms. He says, who's going to stand up? I believe we have to survive, though. I understand yeah, that. If, if that's how I'm going to survive, then I'm going to make work. Get that. I'm going to show you about working. Because we, us, we work. You know, we ain't sending our mom. We, we, we all live in our parents' place. We soon going to leave out there. All right? Second Thessalonians chapter three. Second Thessalonians chapter three and verse. Hold on. This is what God says about working. Verse five. Verse five. It's ten. Verse ten. Yep. Ten. Yeah. Ten. For even. Okay. Yeah, you're right. For even when we were with you, God, this Paul is saying when we was with you, this we commanded you, that if any man would not work, if he would not what? Not work. Not work. Neither should he eat. That's what God says. A man that does not work, neither should he eat. Why? Because a lot of us. We be at home, hands in our drawers, watching TV. Right. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do this girl tonight, man. I, that's how it is. God says you gotta work. Why is you to be so occupied? Can my can can football not be what my work is? <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna say, if you want to strive to be a football player, do you? That's you. I'm not. I'm, not asking, I'm just asking you a question. It does work? Is football not my work? Because right now it's not a job. Right now it's fun. And, and then, then you, later on it's gonna be fun too. But it is gonna be my work. Now. Right, let's say that. But at the time, at the around the same time, you also gotta have a job as well. Read that again. That is this a job. week commanded. So you're job. talking about NFL. NFL will be a job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. The, really but mean. even when we were with you, this we commanded you that if any would not work, neither should you. Now my question is to you: How do you know a hundred percent well that you're gonna be in the NFL? I don't know that. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So I'm you know what you do? I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. It's a now. We gotta be. I agree with what you're saying, bro. We gotta be realistic. 
it's a bigger chance to get a job, a regular white collar, blue collar job, than to be in the NFL. True or false? True. 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 That's what, that's what, but I'm not trying to. That's what we're saying. It's a. It's very. The, a man that makes it to the NBA is like lightning getting stripped back. Right? Very true. That's what it's saying. It's a one in a million lifetime to do that. Very hard. You got to be the best. You got to. You know what I'm saying? You got to. Exactly. Michael Jordan was good, but the reason why a lot of people want to be like Jordan is because Jordan was nice. Everybody, y'all wear y'all y'all wear his sneakers. <laughs> it says, but even when we were with you, this we commanded you that if any would not work, neither should he eat. But this is talking about bringing back a nation of people. If a nation of people uh, is smoking weed, they uh, first of all, when you smoking weed, you not you not conscious of what you you know. It, you're not so. I know you won't smoke. I know you won't smoke weed. In the football, yeah, uh, football field, saying, which is we be high people for smoke Trump. weed and play football. They say I know a couple of them. Mm -hmm. I know you know a couple of them. Yeah. All right, but if you saying it's a sin to smoke weed, then why God put it on this earth? Can you try this um, Genesis one and thirty? That's a good question. It's a sin to smoke weed. Now my question is to you: Were people actually smoking weed back in the day? How do I? Know? Yeah. Boy, explain that. This is why. This is another thing. This is another thing. Some of us blacks don't like to do. Some of us. So we know I get defended. A lot of us do not like to what? R E A D. A lot of us don't like to read. A lot of us rather play than read. Read it. Come on. Titus chapter two, verse six. Yeah. Young men, likewise exhort to be sober minded. God says be sober minded. Are you high when you are you when you high? Are you sober? Exactly. Let's say you wanted a child. Your your wife is she's coming out with a baby. Would you want a weed smoking doctor to deliver your child? No, you don't. You're like, hell no. I don't want no Fuck that. weed messes your mind up. Very true. True. It does, right? I don't know about messing up your mind. It does. It messes up your mind in the future. It doesn't mess up your mind like at the moment. Hold on, hold on. So let me ask you a question. How come if you are hot, right? No matter of fact, how many I ever saw uh, Howard and Kumar go to White Castle? How many I've seen that? Now, remember when the man was driving and the police was behind him? He threw all the weed out? Why do you think that? Because if the police caught him with weed, they done. Yes. They understand. Well, Read it again. That's but that's the best of the best of weed. Young men, likewise, exhort to be sober. Now, I'm going to give an example. Ain't the, the first Rastafarians, their doctrine was freedom. Freedom, freedom. The young blacks that join Rastafarian only for what? We. That's exactly. But different Rastafari different is, mindsets. Is different mindsets. Different mindsets. What I'm saying is, it smoke, is, is are they sinning <laughs> for smoking weed? Yes. Video. Young men, likewise, because exhort to be sober minded. Let me ask you a question. Is crack wrong? Is crack wrong? Oh, yeah. Is crack I, I bad? It's wrong, bro. I'm not but doing crack, it. cocaine comes from where? The yeah. government. So is it wrong? <laughs> is it still wrong? Do coke? Wait, wait, wait. No, no man. No, no. Cocaine is natural. Crack is not natural. Crack is man-made. Crack? Cocaine comes out of a cocaine. Crack, cocaine, cocaine comes out of a cocaine. Crack is man-made. You got to add sugar, water, baking soda. I don't know the recipe. I'm just saying. Read it again. Young man, likewise, exhort to be sober-minded. God said exhort to be sober-minded.